in trouble, sweetie. We are in trouble. We are in a traveler's nightmare situation. This is like something out of a movie. I think I've seen this in a movie somewhere. We are broken down in Death Valley at night <laughs> on the weekend. <laughs> This and is, as you can imagine, there's no signal. Yeah, there's there's absolutely no signal in Death Valley. And the video you saw at the beginning of the video, those clips, our truck broke down, um, like, right at sunset. And, um, you know, I have a... Where's that thing? I have a scanner. A, uh, and what this does is if there's an issue going on <laughs> with the truck or with a vehicle, it's an OBD2 scanner. Um, it can tell you if there's if there's an engine code thrown, it will tell you what the engine code is. And what we're experiencing is a open circuit voltage on our number seven fuel injector. And it's causing our truck to not run. Um, but we were able to get the truck running again. I just, uh, I, disconnected the um, ports or the, the connectors to the fuel um, control modules. And, you know, I, ju I just checked to see if there was any corrosion or anything, plugged them back in. And then I disconnected both of the batteries on our truck to sort of reset the uh, engine control module, waited for a little while, and then fired the truck up or, you know, hooked all that back up, fired the truck up and it, it worked. And, sort of. Yeah, I mean, well, everything was fine, and we were able to continue driving a little bit, and we were like, we just need to get out of Death Valley. We don't need to get to our next destination. Just have to get to death, out of Death Valley so that we can get some cellular signal and get some help, you know, call a tow truck, something. But our truck just died again, and um, we're sort of waiting again to hope that the PCM resets so we can fire it up because what we didn't know, but we know now mm -hmm. is just up the road. Can almost see it. There almost. is supposedly an RV park up there. Uh, and it's like two miles away. We just have to get to that mm -hmm. RV park because we're, on, we're, we're not even on the side of the road. There's no shoulder here where we're at in Death Valley. Um, so we're kind of like in the road. We are in the road. We're literally in the we're road. We're in the road, but we've got some LED flares, some like um, emergency lighting. Yeah, yeah there's one this. of them. The battery, this one's battery died, but we have two more out there um, on the ground. And actually these were sent to us by a viewer. Might be watching right now. They were sent to us a few years ago. And so big thanks to the person that sent us these because we are using them right now and they're pretty awesome. We even had someone stop by and ask if we needed any help. And one of the things they said after we told them, no, we, I, we're just trying to get to the RV park is that uh, they, they said, oh, and those lights you've got outside, very effective. And we were like, okay, good. Because one of our fears is that someone's gonna come along and just smash into the back of our trailer <laughs> at like 60 mile an hour. But um, yeah, we're, our truck is loaded up with all of our pets. Yep. Ro and I are. Everybody's in here. Yeah, Ro is. Uh, Ro refuses to be on camera right now because she's. Uh, I'm shaking. She's extreme. Is it okay if I tell yeah. me? Yeah, Ro was having some panic attacks, um, and like legitimate ones, and I had to like calm her down, rub the back of her head, tell her it's gonna be okay because it's going to be okay. Ronut. I know. We're gonna get out of this. I know. We're on the we're yeah. in the home stretch. We're well, I mean we're we're getting to the RV well, park. I Google Maps says there's an RV park, you know. I don't know if there actually is. It looks like there's a sign. I can't tell what it says, but there are lights up there. Um so yeah. You wanna try? Um I I think we can give it a try. Oh no. That sounds awful. That sounds awful. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was right away. That yeah. was right away. Okay, I'm gonna go disconnect the battery again okay. and uh, let it sit, let the PCM reset, and uh, 
Allie knows something's up. Yeah, we'll try. Yeah, Allie, Alice got sick a little while yeah, ago. Yeah, Alice is very. So, yeah, upset. every. I think I think they're keyed into our panic. Yeah, I think uh, the I'm animals. I'm trying to stay calm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to be on the side of the road any longer than we need to, so I'm gonna get out there and uh, I'm gonna disconnect the batteries again. Watch the cat. Hopefully, reset She's the PCM. On the back there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that tail. Yep. Yeah, let's, there we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> let's, dang it, there's a cat in my seat. Come there's on, Allie. cat in your seat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, reconnected the battery. Let's give it, See how it goes. a whirl. Mm. Yeah, let's, come on, baby. Oh, my heart's pounding out of my chest. Come on, Helga. Hey. Okay. That is what a normal diesel truck sounds like. Who knows how long that's gonna last? I sure as heck don't. Oh, I have the parking brake on. Okay. Go real slow. Oh, 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 oh no. Those are, that's misfiring. That is misfiring. We're just gonna putt. Let's putt. Real yeah. slow. Oh no. Oh, come on, baby. Just get us there. Just come on. I see well, I see the sign. It's no what? No. No, it's in limp mode again. Oh, oh no. God. This looks so soft. Oh no. Oh my god. I don't, I. <sighs> you might be able to ride your bike down to that RV park and see if someone has a truck with a tow strap to pull us into the driveway. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. All right. We made it to the gas station. I don't know if you guys can hear the engine. Can you hear it? it? Sounds awful. Sounds awful. It's 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 in what's called limp mode. And I don't know if I explained this earlier. Uh, I'm pretty frazzled right now. Because but, uh, we're kind of freaking yeah. freaking out. Oh, let's just park over there. Yeah. There looks like there's some gravel over there. Yeah, limp mode is when there's something seriously wrong with an engine. It like cuts a ton of power and it only lets you go so fast. <laughs> Uh, Cause it's to keep you from seriously damaging the engine. And yeah, we have, we've, we have a major, major issue. And yeah, in Death Valley of all places. With no signal for like 80 miles. It could be worse though, I guess, because we're at a gas station. Yeah, we made it to a gas station. <laughs> and over there across the street is apparently an RV park. But it appears to be like, there's no Wi-Fi over there. No, absolutely yeah. not. So I'm gonna go inside um, and I'm gonna, uh, yeah. let's hope. I'm gonna go inside and I'm just gonna see what my options are. I'm gonna talk to the attendant. I'll hang out I here. I don't know guys. Yeah, you you I'm keep gonna the hang out here company. and not have a panic attack anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can probably see me shaking the camera, I don't know. God, yeah. <laughs> hey that that's got pretty good uh, image stabilization, so I'm probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, let's see what our options are. Where's All my right. wallet? All right. You know, maybe we can get out of here tonight, but I don't have my hopes very high. No, my hopes are zero. Yep. Okay. So, good news, bad news, bad news, and I think that's where we're at. So bad news is that they don't have Wi-Fi. Like they have it, but they don't. It's not working. Uh, go figure. Um, and it's only in the store, so we can't really do a lot of planning outside of the store. Good news is they had a telephone and I was able to call a towing company um, and I was able to talk over the options with the gentleman that uh, answered. He was actually very helpful. Um, and he even told me that if, in his opinion, not to go with him because here's the more bad news. He doesn't know of a diesel mechanic really anywhere. Uh, he said our best option would be a town called Ridgecrest. I called 
the guys in Lone Pine. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I called the towing company in a town called Lone Pine because Lone Pine is on the way to our destination. Um, and so, yeah. And then more bad news to tow the truck and the trailer from here. Sweetie, stop. <laughs> the 50 miles, yeah, 50 miles to Lone Pine, uh, which is the nearest town. Seven hundred dollars, oh, Ro. I expected 700. like okay. I did expect like five hundred, yeah. but seven. Yeah. So um, he oh. suggested that we leave the trailer somewhere because if he only has to tow the truck, it would only be only just a, a small five hundred dollars. You know, pocket change. <sighs> Is it, would he be able to at least get us out tomorrow? I'd pay 700 to get the truck and trailer out tomorrow. Yeah, so I think, I think what we need to do is not leave the truck and the trailer here because we have no signal. It's Saturday night, tomorrow's Sunday, Roe has to work on Monday. And so- Which is I, why I've been panicking. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. I think we need to just bite the bullet and pay someone to get us out of here um, another issue though, I just thought of, I haven't thought of this yet until just now is typically uh. when someone tows you out, they tow, you, like you just ride with them. We have five pets. Where do they go when we get towed out of here? They just stay in the truck, I guess. But the I truck's going to be up on the flatbed, he said. He said he'd load the truck on the flatbed. And then pull the trailer behind the flatbed? Pull the trailer behind with the bumper pull. Okay. I don't think they're gonna, like, that's a liability. Are they gonna just let the pets all stay in the truck? Oh my Guys, no. guys. Uh, why in Death Valley? Why in Death Valley while we're towing? Truck, couldn't you have broken down like yesterday when I was driving you around, just driving into town, everything was fine. It waited until death effing valley. Why? I guess you're probably gonna have to call him back and just see if they'll let our pets ride in his truck mm -hmm. because the, there's no way they're gonna let them ride anywhere else. The, the kind lady inside the convenience store told me, I asked her about like the size of towns because we need a diesel mechanic. So, you know, like, and cause the one guy in Lone Pine said, I don't know of any diesel mechanics. And so, but she said that Ridgecrest has a Walmart. So that means something. It might. That means something? <laughs> it means it's a big-ish town, you know, whatever. Oh. I'm gonna go call the towing company in Ridgecrest before they close and so we can Get weigh a plan. our options. Also ask about pets. Yeah, yes. Oh, guys. All righty. Uh, I saw you coming. <laughs> well, I bought a beer because, yeah, it's that kind of night. I need to take the edge off, you know what I mean? Uh, so, <laughs> update. Lone Pine, like I said, is the closest place. Um, yep. Ridgecrest is, they have, I actually was able to connect to their Wi-Fi. And uh, Ridgecrest uh, is a lot further away than Lone Pine, but they have diesel mechanics in the town. Um, who knows when they'd be able to get to our truck, uh, but um, towing fee to get towed into Ridgecrest. $1,500. $1,500. That doesn't even include the cost of what it's gonna take to fix it. And we have towing insurance. Okay but it only covers $100 of towing. Oh my. So it'll cost us $1,400 and then whatever it takes to fix the dang thing. Um, so, wait, do I still have Wi-Fi all the way out here? That's dope, at least there's that. Uh, so yeah, um, I went ahead and bought a site at the RV park and I asked the kind lady uh, if, we, cause she knows we're broken down. And I told her, if I can't get out of here, can I just stay here where we're at? And she was like, you might get a knock on your door by the, from the owner or the camp host, but I'll print you out this receipt. 
so that you have proof. And, uh, yeah, so... Did she give you directions on how to get into the RV park? Yeah, I, I got a, I got a nice little map right here. Okay, do we have a pull through site? Yep, pull through site. Okay, dope. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. I don't think we could back into a site if we wanted to. So, that's the update, and this sucks. <laughs> This does suck. But I guess it could be worse. It could be worse. We could still be down in the middle of Death Valley with no signal, no nothing. We at least made it here where there are people yeah. with some information. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. What about um, when we can get towed out and if they'll take the tomorrow. pets? Tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to ask about pets. Fuck, but tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. Excuse my language. <laughs> I can bleep that. I can bleep fuck. I can bleep f and shit and g and motherfucker and sorry, that's the mood I'm in right now. <laughs> yep. We'll see you guys tomorrow. morning from Death Valley. Uh, you know, it's always great when your vehicle breaks down, towing behind it your entire home, your wife, all of your pets, just everything that you own in Death Valley. Death. It's at, great. At sunset with no signal. Yeah, with no signal at sunset in the at night. It's great. It's just great. <laughs> now, I uh like I said the general store has pretty weak Wi-Fi, but it was enough. Uh, I went over there this morning, we got up real bright and early because we have to be out of here by 11 a.m. And so we got up at 6.30 so that we had enough time to maybe try and see if there was some sort of common issue with our truck. It's a 2004 uh, Chevy Silverado three quarter ton with the Duramax diesel. And I was able to find that there is a common problem and so I'm going to attempt to do that fix. Um, it's called the ice pick fix, um, ice picking an injector uh, to help and try and make a better connection at the injector with the, um, the electrical connector that plugs into it. And it makes sense that that could be the issue with our number seven injector. And everywhere online says that the number seven injector is one of the most likely ones to fail, the number seven and the number two, just because of the crazy angle that the harness is at. And so uh, I'm going to try and go do that, or do that fix now. Uh, Rose gonna disconnect the truck from the trailer. And when I'm done, I'm gonna fire it up Take it for a test drive, and we're gonna hope. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed.
Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna fire her up. If everything's good, take her for a test drive. <sighs> okay. Sounds normal so far? Uh, let me get my seatbelt on. <laughs> yep. Okay. So far, so okay. good. We're disconnected from the trailer. Uh, and we're gonna take only the truck for a test drive now. Yep. Every now and then, if you remember from last night, we were able to get everything running just fine. So this isn't really all that, you know. Uh, surprising. Yeah, this is not all that surprising. But we're gonna drive, we're gonna do a decent amount of driving. And we're gonna see what happens. All righty. So the truck has made the near 4,000 foot climb uh, from the bottom valleys down in Death Valley up to where we're at right now. It's Father Crowley Vista. I, I think it's like three or 4,000 feet higher. And we really beat on the truck too. I was, you know, flooring it on straightaways. We, we weren't going crazy, but you know, I wanted to sort of really test to make sure. And you know, we, we even went a lot further because we were trying to get cell signal, but we drove for a pretty long time and never got cell signal. So we just decided to turn back around because we got to be out of here by 11 a.m. And um, you know, it's it's like 10, 15 now. <laughs> so we're, we're feeling pretty good. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna say we're good until we actually get out of here and into signal with the trailer, but we're feeling pretty good. You can see the trucks behind at the parking lot. So let's go hook up. So what the heck is ice picking an injector and why might it have solved our problem? Well, the number seven injector, which is at the back passenger side of the engine, the wiring harness that leads to it is not long enough. So it's pulled at this crazy angle. And what that does is the connector uh, that leads to the injector, um, it's, it's like a spade connector, essentially, like an electrical spade connector. The wiring harness has the female side and the um, fuel injector has the male side. And that tension from the weird angle of the harness pulling on that connector starts to spread open the um, female connector side of that spade connector over time. And once that, the, that spread gets so big that it allows a gap to form, it opens the circuit and causes that open circuit voltage issue. And so the solution to that problem is pretty silly, but you know, apparently it works, is to take an ice pick like this and stab the underside of that electrical connector hard enough that it, it stabs up into the, um, the female side of the spade connector and it creates a dimple inside of it that then creates a strong electrical connection with the male side of the spade connector on the, in, the, on the fuel injector. There's two of those uh, spade connector type connections and so you create two little holes that look like you know snake bites is what they say on on the internet the guys that you know have talked about this and know about this issue they're you know they'd say you got to make the snake bites by ice picking your injector and you know so far the truck is working okay so we're gonna hook up and drive out of here and see if the problem's solved so get this row this issue on that injector on this model of truck is so common that those in the know recommend to always drive with a ice pick in the glove box because it could happen at any time. An ice pick, guys. Thankfully, I have a number of these with like different ends uh, in the toolbox that's in the back of the truck. So, thank goodness. Yeah, <laughs> I always have this on me because I always have the toolbox in the back of the truck. An ice pick. This is so stupid. 
and it seems to have fixed the issue. Uh, We've been driving it quite a bit. Yeah, we drove for like over 30 minutes up the steep grade, back down, got all hooked up. You know, I, I went over to the general store, got a little more fuel just to make sure we didn't run out. But yeah, how stupid. But you know what? Everything looks good. I'm still extremely nervous. I'm not gonna feel good until we're out of here. Pets are all loaded up, trucks hooked up to the trailer. Let's get the F out of here. And guys, it's been it's been a long night, a long quite, morning. Let's it's been go. Quite let's, the weekend. That's enough. Let's 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 do this thing. Growing restless. Searching for a brighter day Leaving yesterday behind oh, oh. Looking forward into the light I find you Guys, we made it to our next site. We <laughs> made it out of Death Valley. We made it to Signal. We are here in California on just in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. These are, oh my gosh. And we this, have Signal. And we have Signal. Ro can work. I can work. You can work tomorrow. And it's nice and strong. Yep. That was so the biggest, <laughs> that was the biggest fear in all of this because Ro yeah. had just started her job. And so the number one thing was we have got to get Ro to Signal so that she can work on Monday. Cause we had lots of different plans. We were gonna pay someone for a ride out potentially. We were potentially gonna pay for a cab to come in and pick me up yeah. and take me out. Uh, the tow truck, if the tow truck came, then they would take me tow out. Tow truck and trailer. Yeah, we, we had all of these just like awful scenarios to choose yeah. from. Stay, but, stay in a motel for a week, who knows? I don't but know. thankfully, <laughs> the ice pick method worked. Ice picking my injectors, who'd have thought? Uh, why does it have to be something so incredibly absurd? Because you know what would happen if we actually got it towed out somewhere? It would have cost us five grand. Oh yeah, minimum. Yeah, the yeah the the because they would have had to replace things to troubleshoot well, yeah, it. Yeah, the diesel mechanic's not going to be like, well, let me just ice pick <laughs> your injectors. No, stab they're going to like something into this piece yeah. of plastic right here. No, they're going to be <laughs> like, no, uh, let's replace this and that and that thing and all this and all these things. And here you go, four thousand dollar bill. And guys, I have got have got to tell you guys that. I have got to be the luckiest person on the entire freaking planet because who else? We don't even really know anyone else besides like maybe your own dad, maybe your uncle too. I think Thomas. Maybe Thomas. Yeah. That could have also gotten us out of yeah. that situation. No one else. Maybe my grandpa probably could have helped. I don't know, but it would have been really, really tough but you know about cars. You're really freaking handy. You even got like uh, the flasher things the out. You just, yeah. for safety, like, and then you were just like, you spotted the lights off in the distance and you, guys, this campsite, this campsite, it is epic. It is yep. so epic. We've got massively pointy mountains on one side. We've got, you know, the west side of the mountain range in Death Valley on our other side. This is one of the most epic campsites yeah. ever and you found it. Yep. And yep. you fixed the truck. You figured it out. The mm -hmm. stupid obscure thing with so barely dumb. any signal. <laughs> You're the one that had the scanner that you bought yep. years ago. Yep. Preemptively. We had all the right tools. We had the, the tools, right tools we need to diagnose and make the you repair. You had all the right smarts yep. as well. Yeah, we. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> fix the truck in Death Valley. <laughs> With no signal. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Man. But we are super excited because we have this whole so national forest. We have all of these mountains. It's our playground. <laughs> and you guys, this is why we full-time RV, by the way, to get to sites like this. This is epic. This is exactly why we started doing this. Mm -hmm. And we, we show you all of the stuff, like you, what happened today, the breakdown in Death Valley, and we filmed the whole thing so that we could share it with you. Because while full-time RVing is awesome, and we love it, we got to give you what actually happens. It sometimes, this is real talk, sometimes full-time RVing sucks and it's hard and things go wrong and you have no one to rely on except yourself mm -hmm. because there are no friends out here. There are no, there's no family, you know, you don't live in a community. You're like out in the middle of BFE and now yep. you have this huge issue and who's, you know, you can only pay someone to help you if you can even reach them, if you <laughs> can even contact them, if you have cell signal. And so, you know, you like- You wanna know something else though? What? I don't think that we would have gotten through that as positively as we had if we didn't both keep our cool. Oh, well, absolutely. Yeah. Keep our cool. I didn't keep my cool. Um, but neither one of us like took our frustrations out yeah, of each other. Yeah, we didn't nitpick at each other no, or anything. We, we were, were just like just, we were both just incredibly kind. Like what do we have? What are our out. options? What do we Yeah, what well, you were freaking out. I was freaking out. Yeah. Kind but freaking out. Yeah. It counts. <laughs> but uh, so happy we got out. We made it. Issues like that are going to happen, but overall I mean, this is incredible. This, this is, is absolutely incredible. incredible. I and love you. You picked this. You picked this. I love you, Ro. <laughs> I love you too. We made it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> you were shaking the whole camera. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's the end of this tale. The end of this ridiculous experience. Thankfully, we had a happy ending. Uh, I've got a lot of really awesome stuff <laughs> planned for uh, exploring into the Sierra Nevada mountains. Uh, solo camping in the Sierra Nevada mountains, hikes, going on some epic alpine stuff. If the temperature can warm up just a little bit so that the roads cold. open. Yeah, uh, but I've got big plans. So stick around for those. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.